G'day guys, it's Dean from Pastors Aquaria. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about how to treat filamentous algae uh, in your lakes, dams and, um, and your water bodies. So filamentous algae basically look like this here. It's like a, a, a hair-like, uh, string-like appearance. Uh, you can also see it floating on that, uh, that dam. Uh, this is the irrigation dam and this is Spirogyra in particular and they need to control it because it gets stuck in the pumps and also it gets stuck in the, in, in, in the sprinkler system. So uh, this is a sporting complex here and as a result, um, they, it requires a lot of maintenance on, on the sprinkler heads and, and on the uh, pump. Um, so filamentous algae, the problem is it's, it looks disgusting as you can see. You shit's on the ground overnight and during the daytime, it gradually comes up. That's because during the daytime, it photosynthesizes and it releases oxygen as a byproduct of photosynthesis and it basically lifts the mat up right up to the top because the oxygen bubbles underneath it and then overnight it's the other way around it sort of goes down because of the respiration so um, oxygen gets extracted from the water column and then basically um, the, the algae basically goes down to the bottom um, so it's it, for managers uh, they got to control it uh, especially when it looks like this when there's over 25 percent of the surface area of the water body covered with it it's best to treat it then um, anything below sometimes algae is seasonal it comes and goes uh, but if it goes above 20 percent that's as a rule of thumb that's probably a good time to actually um, eradicate it somehow or, or reduce it somehow um, so in terms of treatment there's a few different ways to treat it um, there's physical and uh, removal and mechanical removal so that's when you go out on a boat and you basically physically remove it and then put it into your IBC container or whatnot and then basically take it offshore and dump it away uh, the problem with it is the stringy algae um, tend to uh, be associated with high nutrient levels and also low dissolved oxygen concentration so when that happens when it's low dissolved oxygen concentration high nutrient level you got chances for harmful bacteria to occur and when that occurs you know you have problems with human health so you've got to be careful with that physical removal you've got to wear the right ppe and and do it that way uh, then there's biological removal so you can introduce bacteria into the water body to break down the nutrient level as you break down the nutrient level uh, there's no food for algae to basically grow and as a result um, the algae levels starve and they die off um, so there's also another way in America they use grass carp. I'm not sure if it's actually native to there or not, uh, but yeah, grass carp is used to basically cut out some of the um, spirogyra. Um, but the issue with it is they also eat the aquatic plants as well. So I don't find that useful, especially in Australia, because uh, one, they're a pest, and two, they'll contribute to the problem because they'll feed on the aquatic plants and then leave behind the, the string algae because it's small powerful to eat the aquatic plants. Um, the other issues associated with them is they are bent to risk and they sift the floor and they release and mo mobilize phosphorus into the water column. So you have an algal bloom. So they're part of the problem and I don't recommend it. Uh, but so biologically, another way to reduce uh, algae level is to introduce aeration systems. So you've got things like mountains, uh, lake bed aeration systems. They all help with increasing dissolved oxygen concentration in the water. Then you have um, aerobic bacteria taking over and multiplying and then reducing the concentration of algae in the water column because when you have a reduction in nutrients you have a reduction in algae because there's less food for the algae to grow on then there's chemical control which we're applying here today because this is pretty urgent because the pumps are getting clogged uh, there's no aquatic wildlife here so there's less risk involving chemical application here um, and in this case we're doing control and it's aquatic safe anyway if you apply the right dosage uh, so we don't see any issues with it here because it's quite urgent. So what we've done is we've reduced the water level down by approximately a quarter and we're applying uh, cocktail at a higher concentration because there's no native fish here. We've done a management plan, we've done fish surveys here. Uh, there's nothing in here. Um, so as a result, you can treat it uh, at a high concentration. Um, so I'm going to show you a couple of videos of what we're doing here um, and I hope you guys enjoy it.
So we're three days in, and as you can see, the algicide application has worked. There's only a few clumps of string algae around, and that can be easily removed by boat. Water's crystal clear, the duck's happy, and yeah, job well done.